Dallas Fuel took the trophy against San Francisco Shock. Check this out. This is how it went down. Edison trying to keep him. Oh, there it is. Striker tries to drop down on the flank, but Edison got to it first. It's Uday Rush and they just back out. Uh, look, they, they've gotten a lot of progress here, 90 meters. They don't have to fight that there. There's a rush from the fuel now, and this one has the bite to match the bark. Sparkle out of the window there, looking for Cropper, who has to back away. Trying to bring it home, but Strike is found too. A chance here for the shot. They've got a sound barrier. Strike for four. Violet steals the ace. Doesn't find what he was looking for. Fearless in the front line over time. Is the sound barrier coming out for San Francisco? They get it on five players. And Field is going to struggle there. Pop has found him. There's an opening here. There's a chance. But Sparkle shuts Finn down. San Francisco in a four versus three. But Edison from the top rope. Hits him with the RKO. Striker wants to try and chase him down. Gets his revenge and Chia might be in trouble here. Violet's able to find the kill. Dallas Yule though. Only two plays here for San Francisco. It's not much to work with here. How do they touch the card? The bomb is going to be there. Violet's going to be forced away. He's in grave danger. Grave danger indeed. The touch is there from Striker. He has a death loss, but there's no chance. The Dallas Fuel take their place amongst the stars. The bat brighter than the ball. Rising to become your 2022 Overwatch League champions. Oh, what a final that was. And now I'm actually joined by Patrick Dane, who joined me on the show on Friday ahead of the championship, uh, the finals this weekend. Patrick, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I uh, flew in about two hours ago, so I'm pretty tired, but I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm good to go. You know, I'm going off good vibes. So. A little bit jet lagged, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you're going to get through. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> All good. good. Yes. Yeah, so how did you find the final? How did you, how did, did you think Dallas Fuel were going to take the trophy? I mean, it, it, the finals were genuinely, like, kind of amazing. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I think everybody, there was always the chance that Dallas Fuel was going to take it because they have, they were the best team um, at kind of throughout the, the whole season and especially in this meta. But um, Dallas Fuel, this is their first championship and they've always had high expectations, even back since, like, season one and now we're in season five. And they've never won it and they always kind of ended up choking it. So it was, uh, it was great to see them finally, you know, get it together and actually finally win one, you know. Absolutely, because it's always very tight and it's it's so tense. I mean, like the commentating, everything that goes over the top of it. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat just watching the highlights there. It's, it's really intense, but I think it's a great time for Overwatch as well. I mean, especially because Overwatch 2's come out and things like that. So it's quite an exciting time, I think. Do you think this is kind of like pushing it more into the mainstream? Yeah, so it, it's interesting because obviously uh, we talked a little bit on Friday, like Overwatch League has kind of been in a weird spot for a few years now. Yeah. Um, but... It, it's this finals were genuinely super amazing like the finals have historically been usually because they get they're a best of seven so it's first to four basically yeah um and it was a, a set this one was a best of set like it went all the way to map seven and it was really close all the way through and it's kind of like as good as a grand finals could ever be and on top of that it was the first time we've had a grand finals in I think that's 2019 where it was in front of a crowd and it was a, basically a, a mostly full like 10,000 seater arena which was amazing to be part wow. of um, it was electric in there and just um like being able to be and like i think i heard that it was the second most viewed uh overwatch league game since the first grand finals which were very very inflated wow and, um, amazing it was one of the best one of the best games we ever watched I honestly ever played it was it was everything kind of worked out and just like from talking to you know team managers and players and content creators and like within the scene and stuff afterwards like the word that kind of just kept coming out was like hope and everyone was just, like super excited about the scene again which is really really great it, especially after COVID, I mean, like to have all those people back in a room as well, it, it really does add to the atmosphere because that is what the esports is all about. It's all about the atmosphere, which I think adds to it. And for the players as well, you know, to be involved in that and have the kind of atmosphere of having a full crowd watching them. I mean, it must be absolutely fantastic. But do you know who took the MVP in the end? 
I do, I do. So there, it, Overwatch League kind of splits them into two. So we have the season MVP, which is like kind of who was the best throughout the entire season, yeah. which was a guy called Proper on the San Francisco Shock. And yeah. I talked about him on Friday as well. He is, he he also ended up being the uh, a, ta- a DPS role star um, and a rookie of the year. So he basically won every award. He's basically the best player who's ever touched the game, um, even though it's only his first year. And he took the MVP. It was really no surprise because it was Aww. like there wasn't even anybody close. He is an exceptional, exceptional player. But during the grand finals MVP, and, and if he had won the, um, if the Shock had won the finals, which they were very, very close to doing, he would have won the MVP in that before. And he would have literally won every award he possibly could have won. But Aww. they did end up losing. So the player who did end up taking it was a guy called Fearless, who's a tank on the Dallas Fuel, who uh, has been known around the league as the protagonist for a long time because his story is incredible. He started in the first season, he was on the notorious 0 and 42 dragons and who lost 42 games in a row and he went back down and he's come all the way back up to now become the mvp and you know it was super emotional seeing him get that award and it was uh, everybody got to share in it it was a really, Aww, really uh, awesome I, story to like kind of see reach that conclusion yeah definitely because you can <laughs> exactly, see the, yeah. you can see the climb and see the journeys of these players as well and how they kind of go about it which i think is so nice as well like seeing the progression because it is you know it is it is difficult i mean it's, it's hard to have wins all the time because these are the best players in the world so <laughs> to have wins all the time you know it, it's very difficult but i mean what do you think this is kind of going into the next season of overwatch kind of league do you think it's like an exciting time and seeing where it's going to go next yeah, a hundred percent. Like I say, it, the the sentiment that was coming out was everyone was super hopeful. I think, like even throughout a lot, large portions of this season, like viewership was kind of like not that great. But like as soon as playoffs hit, I think especially because the game's out now and people can play it, like uh, it was hitting over two hundred fifty thousand fairly, uh, you know, consistently, and it just like. You know, there were there were people at the beginning of seasons like I don't know if Overwatch League will be back, and now now it really just feels like everyone's super excited, and it was super super special, and just like it really felt like a really really important night for the league, and one of the most like important, uh, yeah, one of the most important nights, uh, in the in the co- whole competition five year history of the of the esport, um, and just to have everybody there and excited and be able to share in that again, and you know, for everybody who stuck it out during those five years, even during the dark times, it was like a very very uh big moment of I think catharsis for everybody. This Scene, so. Absolutely. And do you think there were any teams that you thought, oh, might make might make the finals, but just didn't quite get there, and you're kind of shocked that they didn't quite make the finals? Yeah, there are there are a couple actually. Uh, Los Los Angeles Gladiators, who had won two tournaments prior yeah. uh, this season, they kind of ended up bombing out. I don't think they had quite ever got their head around the meta that was going on. Oh, and then also shame. last season's uh, last season's winners, the Shanghai Dragons, also went out in two games uh because again i think they also didn't have a great uh read on the meta or anything so we did we definitely saw some very early um exits that were uh shocking so the nature of the game right the nature of the game well patrick we're going to come back to you in just a second but we do have a vt for the brand new character the brand new hero that's overwatch 2 is called ramatra and he's a brand new tank check this out created to lead Omnix into war. But all I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. The fact that we exist is a miracle unto itself. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. We have tried to coexist with humanity, but humanity is not interested in sharing their world. How many more Omnics should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? No more. Our race is only a single generation, finite and dying all too quickly. Can find our own place, and we must join me. And together, we will make a better future for all Omnix. Okay, the brand new hero, Ramatra. We've got we've got a little taste of what's to come, which is exciting. Patrick, what do you think to this brand new hero? 
Yeah, I mean, he's our 36th hero uh, in the game now, and he's actually a super important lore character. Uh, uh, some Overwatch players might actually remember him uh, back from, I think it was 2018 or 2019, when they did their Archives event. He showed up in a cutscene at the end of Doomfist, who's Ooh. one of the main antagonists of Overwatch, being like, hey, we should work together. So he's uh, <laughs> he's one of the he's he's one of the main antagonists uh, of, of, you know, Overwatch going forward. But at the same time, he has uh, a very sympathetic cause. Um, he basically is just trying to uh, save... Uh, the Omnics who have a battered history with the uh, human race. And um, it's, it's an interesting political thing going in, going in there. He's a very, very important character in the lore. So it's really, really cool to finally see him like kind of step out into the limelight as it were. Absolutely. Do you think he's going to be a popular tank to use? Do you think people are going to, going to, going to flock to it? Yeah, I think uh, his design is really cool. Um, and especially in games. So his, his gameplay is basically, basically uh, around, uh, a transformation so he starts off in a small form and he can do like kind of a range attack and has a barrier but then uh you know you can then transform into a huge hulking guy who then does punches i think and just peer <laughs> like so it's, it's really yeah, about yeah. like managing how you transform and who how, who you want to how you want to do but you know if you if you end up in the wrong form in the wrong situation you'll end up killing uh, everybody on your team because so i think that's where the difficulty is going to be in, in managing him oh that's interesting we'll see how that goes and hopefully people will get their hands on him and give, give it a go but i'm sure we're going to be seeing it getting streamed as well so we'll see him in action soon i'm sure thank you so much patrick it's been wicked to have you once again and i'm sure we'll have you back on for some more overwatch chats at some point thank you so much have a great day Anytime. thank you